Assalamualaikum. In this video and the, the uh, couple of next few videos, we will learn about BCH code known as both Chaudhary Hockingham code and RS code, which is known as Reed Solomon code. In coding theory, the BCH codes form a class of error correcting codes which have been the subject of much academic attention in the last 50 years. BCH codes were invented in 1959 by Hockingham and independently in 1960 by Bose and Ray Chaudhary. The principal advantage of BCH codes is the ease with which they can be decoded via an elegant algebraic method known as syndrome decoding. This allows very simple electronic hardware to perform the task obviating the need for a computer and meaning that a decoding device may be made small and low powered. If a good error correcting code is needed to have Hamming distance d greater than or equal to 5, then we need to move fields beyond binary to finite field. We'll see what are the finite fields shortly after. Reed Solomon codes, which are BCH codes, are used in applications such as satellite, communications, CDs, DVDs, and disk drives. To understand BCH, we first need to understand finite field or Galois field mathematics. And in order to understand Galois field, we need to understand the concept of modular arithmetic. So we begin with modular arithmetic. What is modular arithmetic? When we divide two integers, we will have an equation that looks like the following. For example, a divided by b is equal to q with remainder r, where a is the dividend, b is the divisor, q is the quotient, and r is the remainder. Sometimes we are only interested in what the remainder will be when we divide A by B. For these cases, there is an operator called modulo operator or abbreviated as mod. Using the same A, B, Q and R as above, we would have A mod B is equal to R. Means here, we are not interested in the quotient or answer of the division but the remainder. When we divide A by B, what the remainder is. So we would say that A modulo B is congruent to R, where B is referred to as the modulus. Here B is referred to as modulus rather than divisor. We can use a clock to find the remainder of a number divided by 12. We can visualize it like this. In other words, 12 is the modulus. To find 16 mod 12, count from 0 to 16. So we start counting from uh, here, 0 from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So in other words, 16 mod 12 will be 4. Because we are confined to these uh, no, 0 to 11 numbers only. When we have got modulo 12, then our uh, answers, the remainders, possible remainders can be only 0 to 11. So we are confined to this 4. 16 mod 12 is equal to 4. Start counting from 0 and keep counting after reaching 0 till count up to 16. When you will finish counting 0 to 16, the number on the clock will be 4 as I showed you. If you divide 16 by 12, you get the 4 as the remainder. You can see that for modulus 12, actually, it is re uh, repeating sequence from 0 to 11. This way, we can make repeating sequence for any modulus number. So we keep repeating uh, within these numbers only. We cannot go beyond this number or from 0 to 11. So for example, for modulus 4, the repeating sequence is 0, 1, 2, 3. It is always starting from 0, so it is always uh, 1 less than the modulus number, for example, 4 minus 1, or over here it was 12 minus 1, 11. So we start at 0 and go through 8 numbers in a clockwise sequence like this. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So eight mod four is equal to zero because eight is represented. The remainder is represented. Uh, whatever the remainder will get will be zero. We start at zero and go through eight numbers in clockwise sequence. One, two, three, zero. One, two, three, zero. As I showed you, we end up at zero. So 8 mod 4 is equal to 0. Similarly, 7 mod 2. So, if for example you want to find the uh, yarn in modulo 2 and you want to know what is the modulus of uh, 7, so you repeat 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, 7 mod 2 is equal to 1. If we have A mod B and we increase A by a multiple of B, we will end up in the same spot. This is one important property of modulus number. That is, for example, A mod B is equal to A plus K into B mod B for any integer K. So for example, A is 3 and modulus is B, modulus B is equal to 10. So for example, if the value of K is equal to 0, then what you will get, you will get 3 mod 10 will be, equal, uh, actually it will be 3 mod 10 will be equal to 3. And uh, then 3 plus 1 mod 10 will be also 3. 3 plus 2 multiplied by 10 mod 10 is equal to 3. So as you can see that this value will remain the same. This multiplication of uh, modulus by any integer or the multiples of this modulus will give you the same result. Suppose the modulus number is 5. So then the possible remainders are 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So if you divide any number by 5, then the remainder will be either of these 5 numbers. It will always be either 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. Hence, we have 5 classes or sets of numbers for modulus 5. For example, if the following number are divided by 5, then for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 will always give you 0. And 6, 11, 16, 21, 26 will give you remainder 1. Similarly, 7, 12, 17, 22, 27 will give you remainder 2. And 8, 13, 18, 23, 28, 3 will give you remainder 3. And similarly, this one. So what you see is that all these numbers fall in the same class where they are giving you the remainder 0. Numbers 16, 6, 11, 16, 21 belong to the same class where it gave you uh, the remainder 1. So these numbers belong to the same class, 5 to 25, this one, these are, these 6, 11, 16, 21, 26 belong to the same class, 7, 12, 10, 17, 22, 27 belong to the same class, and so on. So from the previous example, we can see that 13 and 28 are in the same class as both give the same remainder 3. You can see that 13 and 28 both are from the same class. A common way of expressing that two values are in the same class is, the, uh, is, to, way, is to say that uh, they are in the same equivalence class. The way we express this mathematically for mod c is a congruent mod c. Here this sign is called congruent. These three uh, lines uh, parallel to each other. So a is congruent to b. Uh, modulo C or mod C. The con this symbol is a symbol for congruence which means that values A and B are in the same equivalence class. Mod C tells us what operation we apply to A and B. For example 26 congruent 11 mod 5 means that if you divide 26 by 5 you will get 1 and if you divide 11 by 5 you will get 1 as a remainder so the 26 and 11 belong to the same class so these 26 and 11 are equivalent uh, to each other in class 
Now the remainders can be represented as Fp012 P minus 1. As we have seen before, as I told you that uh, whatever the maximum number is, for example, it is for example, 5, then the maximum number is 5 minus 1 equal to 4. P, this is our P. 5 is uh, P. So P minus 1 equal to 4. For example, the possible remainders for modulus 5 are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and F5 is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 because 5 minus 1 over here gives you 4. This is the maximum value. <clears throat> now we will see some examples of addition, subtraction, and multiplication in modulo. So 3 plus 4 mod 5 is equal to 7 mod 5 means you, what you will do is that you will divide, the, uh, divide 7 by 5 and whatever the remainder is uh, will be your answer which is 2. 3 minus 4 gives you mod 5 minus 1 uh, gives mod 5 is equal to 5 minus 4 is equal to 4. Here we can uh, use uh, division method as well, remainder method as well or the, the other simple way is that you simply subtract this uh, uh, minus value from the maximum value which is 5 over here, this mod 5. So 5 minus 1 gives you 4. So actually in modulo arithmetic, minus 1 is equal to 4. Not uh, because there is no minus 1 in this set you can see. So the numbers must be within from uh, this set only. You cannot have any number outside this set. So minus 1 is not here. So you can uh, find the equivalent of minus 1 in modulo arithmetic which is 4 in this case. And sim similarly, multiplication example, 3 multiplied by 4 gives you 12. And here again, if you take the uh, mod 5 of 12, it will give you 2. So we can see that this 12 and this 7 both are congruent to each other because they both belong to the same class where they are giving you the same remainder, which is 2.